At around 2.30 a.m. on April the 20th of 2023, Houston man Joseph McMullen was on a first date with Brianna Iturino in the Montrose area. They had gone to Avant Garden for karaoke and then went to get something to eat at the Voodoo Donut Shop. While they were on the sidewalk, Iturino briefly noticed a sports car barreling towards them. The woman then felt something graze her hip and as she later told a media outlet, turned around and asked herself, Where's Joe? While the pair was in the middle of their date and after they'd left the donut shop, 32-year-old Christina Chambers failed to navigate a curve while driving her Porsche 911 Carrera at over 100 miles per hour. She mounted the sidewalk and plowed her vehicle into 33-year-old McMullen, throwing the man 30 feet into the air. Harrowing footage of the accident was picked up by multiple media outlets later on. Itarino, who was unharmed, called 911 and was instructed to perform CPR on McMullen while the paramedics were on their way to the site of the accident. Unfortunately, the man died at the scene. After mowing down McMullen, Chambers crashed into a pole. She and her two passengers survived with various injuries. Chambers' blood alcohol level was found to be nearly four times the driving limit in the state of Texas. She faced a criminal charge of intoxication, manslaughter, and her case was still in development as of June of 2023. Updates indicated that McMullen's parents had launched a lawsuit against the woman in Harris County Court. It was amended in early June to name several more defendants. They included four local bars accused of over-serving chambers in violation of Texas's Dram Shop Act, which allows those who sell alcohol to be held liable for damages if the person served was intoxicated and an obvious danger to others. Chambers' husband of six years, portfolio manager Xuan Shi, was also named a defendant in the lawsuit as he owned and was responsible for the high-performance sports car involved in the accident. Court records indicated that she filed for divorce on May the 4th of 2023, less than a month after the fatal crash. Number 8. Demarcus Bush A few days before Christmas in 2016, 34-year-old Demarcus Bush was captured by CCTV stumbling through Memphis International Airport. The video began with him getting up from the floor in the waiting area before struggling to remove his jacket. The man was visibly impaired and had trouble maintaining his balance as he ran into a windowed wall while seemingly trying to find an exit. He then lifted his shirt, partially dropped his pants, and proceeded to urinate on the floor only inches away from a woman who was sleeping under a row of chairs. The man then stumbled out of the surveillance camera's view. A member of the airport's cleaning staff mopped the floor and woke the woman up in the aftermath. Law enforcement was called to the scene and a woman told them that she was all right but that she needed to clean her coat. Bush, whom officers claimed was speaking loudly while slurring his words, was taken into custody for public assault and intoxication. It would emerge that the man had had several alcoholic drinks prior to arriving at the airport. Number 7. Erica Christine Flynn On December the 27th of 2014, elementary teacher Erica Christine Flynn was speeding at over 75 miles per hour while driving southbound through Chandler, Arizona. Flynn ran a red light and slammed into a vehicle driven by 66-year-old Kathleen Searcy as it was making a left turn on Arizona Avenue. Searcy suffered devastating injuries from which she passed away. Flynn had made no effort to brake before the crash and wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Her head was consequently smashed against the windshield on impact. 30-year-old Flynn's booking photo would show her smiling while exhibiting black eyes and multiple cuts on her forehead. She later appeared in court in a wheelchair and with her arm in a sling, the woman burst into tears when a judge told the court that her criminal history was non-existent as the first year teacher didn't even have a traffic offense. Nevertheless, her blood alcohol content at the time of the fatal crash was nearly three times the legal limit. The authorities determined that the mere fact she'd been able to function with such a high amount of alcohol in her system denoted that she was a professional drinker. On February the 9th of 2016, Flynn reached a plea deal with prosecutors and was sentenced to 11 years in prison for manslaughter and three years probation for endangerment. Number 6. Andrew Lee Toppenberg Following a GPS error, Southern California man Andrew Lee Toppenberg ended up in a line to cross the US-Canada border into Ontario on May the 2nd of 2023. He was approached by Canadian border agents at the Rainbow Bridge border crossing in Niagara Falls. Since Toppenberg didn't have a passport, he and his vehicle were subjected to an additional search. 
The border agents found almost 400 pounds of cannabis and over $600,000 in cash stashed throughout the 60-year-old's vehicle. The money was bundled and placed in a suitcase, a hard shell case, and a safe. The cannabis was vacuum-packed and held in multiple boxes. A statement released by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police described the packaging style as being consistent with those commonly used by drug dealers or money launderers. Toppenberg was arrested on multiple charges that included possession of cannabis for the purpose of distribution, importing cannabis, and possession of proceeds of property over $5,000 knowing that all or part of the proceeds was obtained by a crime in the United States. Toppenberg appeared in court on June the 5th and remained in custody as the investigation into his illegal activities continued. Number 5. Daniel Marchese Pittsburgh law enforcement approached a vehicle idling in the middle of a busy Oakland intersection on February the 7th of 2017. Inside the running car, officers found 51-year-old Daniel Marchese, who was passed out with his sweatpants halfway down his thighs, exposing the pink lingerie he'd worn underneath. Upon regaining his senses, Marchese fought against the officers and threatened them. He kicked one cop in the abdomen and, according to a criminal complaint, told them, just wait until I get my AK. You're going to see what happens then after subduing the suspect. The police also discovered an open bottle of Jack Daniels whiskey and two unregistered guns in the vehicle that had been reported stolen earlier in the day. Marchese was consequently arrested on multiple charges that included drunken driving, indecent exposure and aggravated assault. Number 4. Timothy Armstrong In the fall of 2021, a heavily intoxicated man was arrested and escorted off an American Airlines flight traveling from Los Angeles to Salt Lake City. 61-year-old Timothy Armstrong's meltdown began after he'd reportedly yelled at an Asian woman to sit down. When asked to calm down, the man flew into a fit of rage and a verbal tirade of discriminatory comments aimed at other passengers. Salt Lake City man Dennis Bush started recording Armstrong on his cell phone. He was shown growling like a dog and gnawing on his face mask while screaming at flight attendants. During the confrontation, he taunted plane staff by saying, what are you going to do, kick me off this flight? I'm already here. Armstrong gestured the middle finger multiple times, punctuating one instance by saying, God bless America. He was dubbed Kevin, the male equivalent of a Karen in the social media videos. After the plane landed in Salt Lake City, Armstrong was escorted off it by two police officers. He was taken to a hospital and then cited for public intoxication. Number three. Frank Somerville. For 15 years leading up to early 2022, KTVU anchor Frank Somerville had read the news during the Bay Area stations 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. broadcasts. In January, however, KTVU chose not to extend his contract. The man had been arrested on suspicion of DUI a month prior. A viral video showed him ramming his Porsche into an Audi stopped at an intersection in Oakland in December of 2021. By then, the station had already suspended the anchor for stumbling and slurring his words during a May broadcast. Somerville's downward spiral, which was reportedly fueled by his addiction to alcohol, continued after his termination into the summer of 2023. In early June, the intoxicated man showed up at the home of his 91-year-old father in Berkeley, California. 65-year-old Somerville was angry and refused to leave, resulting in a physical altercation with his younger brother, Mark. The latter reportedly suffered bruises to his face in the fight. Local law enforcement was called to the scene and arrested the disgraced news anchor on suspicion of criminal threats, battery, public intoxication, and probation violation. He was taken to Berkeley jail and held on a $32,500 bond, which he subsequently posted and was released at around 2.20 a.m. He went back to his father's house to retrieve his car and once in possession of it, returned to look for his phone. Somerville continuously rang the doorbell and the police were called once more at around 4.20 a.m. Officers found him in his car and determined he displayed objective signs and symptoms of public intoxication and was witnessed driving under the influence of alcohol. Over the course of only nine hours, Somerville was arrested twice. 
In the aftermath of the latest incident, he was taken into custody on suspicion of DUI and probation violation and was booked at the Santa Rita Jail in Dublin. Today's topic was requested by River Parish. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Timothy Wood 27-year-old Arkansas man Timothy Wood was arrested on multiple charges after he went on a nude rampage in Washington County in January of 2019. In broad daylight, the unclothed Fayetteville resident got into a GMC Sierra, which was parked outside AutoZone, and grabbed the child that was inside. The child was unhurt as the rampaging man was ultimately chased off by the mother. Still, Wood managed to steal a can of Mountain Dew and a pack of cigarettes from the vehicle. He continued walking around the parking lot, speaking incoherently, before he yelled an expletive and threw the soda can at another driver, causing cuts and bruises to them. He then damaged some items at 410 Vintage Mart and shouted unintelligible abuse at employees. Wood made his way to QC Motors and threw bottles of chemicals around outside, before he was scared off by the owner. Once law enforcement made their way onto the scene, Wood ignored their commands to stop. He attempted to scale a chain link fence but was caught at the top and fell into the parking lot of Maple Street Towing. Deputies ultimately arrested Wood after finding him in the back of a pickup truck. Law enforcement had to use a taser on him at the station as the man persisted in his unruly behavior. If you haven't yet seen our video about when taking it too far goes wrong, then you can stay tuned after number one if you'd like. Number one, incident in Boulder. On February the 11th of 2023, an unidentified man was arrested after crashing a Porsche SUV into a home in the 3500 block of 4th Street in Boulder, Colorado. He lost control of the vehicle, which flipped and slammed several feet into the house and onto a patio area. The driver remained trapped inside the vehicle in the crash's aftermath. The Boulder Fire Department, American Medical Response and Mountain View Fire Rescue assisted Boulder police with extracting the 42-year-old. The car and house sustained considerable damage, as indicated by photos taken at the scene, but no injuries were reported. The driver was medically cleared and taken to Boulder County Jail on charges of driving under the influence, careless driving, and texting while driving. Number 11. Andrea Ivanova Bulgarian influencer Andrea Ivanova, who underwent 32 aesthetic procedures between 2018 and 2022, made the decision to continue modifying her body despite being warned of the potentially fatal consequences of doing so. 25-year-old Ivanova claimed to have the world's biggest lips and hoped to boast the most prolonged and pointed chin as well. Up until 2022, she spent over $9,000 on procedures that included getting hyaluronic acid injections in her lips and augmenting her bra size from 75C to 75E. Ivanova acknowledged that her doctor had warned her against getting any more plastic surgery. She chose to disregard his advice, however, explaining that he'd expressed similar concerns in the past but that she's been happy with the results. Ivanova said she would be celebrating her birthday in 2022 by applying fillers to her chin. The woman's highly modified appearance has gained her a loyal following on social media. Number 10. Matthew Cavinda Florida officer Matthew Cavinda was fired from the St. Petersburg Police Force after using a stun gun on 64-year-old Timothy Grant unnecessarily. On June the 20th of 2021, Kavinda had been called to a gas station to deal with reports of a panhandler roaming the store. After arriving at the scene and speaking to Grant, he discovered that there were five active warrants under the man's name. Rather than following the department's de-escalation protocol, Kavinda immediately became hostile towards the suspects when he reportedly sat down in a wheelchair. Kavinda and his partner attempted to lift the man out of the wheelchair, eventually using unnecessary force by dry stunning Grant. Instead of activating the device's prongs, the officer pressed the taser against the victim's body directly and stunned him four times. In his report, Kavinda claimed that Grant had been violently resisting arrest in an attempt to justify his actions. Although he was ultimately terminated, Kavinda wasn't criminally charged in connection to the assault. Number 9. Lisa Hind 
Lisa Hind, a resident of Cheshire, England, experienced regrets after convincing her husband, Steve, to sign a prenup in which he promised to pay $450 a month for her cosmetic surgeries. The 30-year-old woman, who reportedly wanted to look like celebrity Katie Price, realized the dangerous consequences of the extensive procedures she'd subjected herself to after falling during a trip to Benidorm in Spain, which left her with a split lip. Due to the fillers she'd been applying to her lips over the course of eight years, doctors were unable to stitch her wound, leaving her with an unsightly scar for several weeks. It wasn't until she underwent surgery to drain the fillers that she could be properly treated. Hind, who worked as a personal trainer, indicated that her obsession with her physical appearance has also affected her marriage. Her husband, a bus driver, worked overtime and took out loans amounting to over $20,000 to fulfill the prenup's cosmetic surgery clause. During the first eight years of their marriage, the couple spent $42,000 on procedures that included hair extensions, semi-permanent makeup, Botox, and lip fillers, as well as Heinz' five times a week tanning bed routine. She swore off plastic surgery after the accident in Spain and decided to focus on mending her relationship with her husband. Number eight, Natasha Crown. Swedish model Natasha Crown, who spent $150,000 to enhance her backside, subsequently feared that her new physical attributes would prevent her from finding love. 27-year-old Crown, who underwent six procedures in total, reportedly sought to have the world's biggest bum. She had her first plastic surgery at the age of 20 when she underwent a Brazilian butt lift. Crown later expressed concerns that men would be too scared of her curves to date her, claiming that she hadn't been in a serious relationship since undergoing the initial procedure. Nevertheless, Crown reportedly planned on undergoing her sixth surgery in January of 2022. Number seven, Yulia Tarasevich. 43-year-old Russian beauty queen, Yulia Tarasevich, filed a criminal complaint against doctors Andrei Komarov and Omar Khalid, alleging that the procedures they'd performed on her body had caused her to experience severe side effects. Tarasevich, who was the runner-up in the Mrs. Russia International Beauty Contest in 2000, reportedly paid over $3,000 for a facelift and a mini liposuction, as well as surgery meant to correct her eyelids. In her complaint, the woman revealed that she was unable to close her eyes or smile after the procedures and was also left with scars all over her cheeks. Doctors Khalid and Komarov denied the accusations, blaming the alleged injuries on a previously undetected genetic condition Scleroderma. Tarasevich was forced to spend over $20,000 to fix the issues, but as of December of 2022, hadn't reversed the negative effects to her liking. She told authorities that the consequences of the initial surgery weren't merely aesthetic, as she'd reportedly needed to seek emergency treatment to save her eyes from necrosis. Number six, Sarah Sabbath. Sarah Sabbath, a 26-year-old model and tattoo artist from Texas, went blind after attempting to inject color into her eyeballs. Despite the consequences of the procedure, she reportedly had no plans of ceasing the modifications to her body, indicating they make her feel more like herself. Sabbath had already tattooed the majority of her body, underwent a nose job, and pierced her lips, neck, and nose before the ill-fated eyeball job spending between $3,000 and $4,000 on her appearance in total. She claimed that the tattoo artist that applied the ink to her eyes didn't add enough saline solution, which resulted in temporary blindness. Fortunately, Sabbath was able to find a specialist that helped her recover most of her vision. Number five, Anaya Peterson. Irish woman Anaya Peterson of Belfast tattooed her eyeballs blue and purple in 2020, despite the serious risk the procedure posed to her eyesight. 37-year-old Peterson, a mother of five, consented to the risky modification after Australian model Amber Luke, known also as the Blue-Eyed Dragon, underwent the procedure and posted the results to social media. Peterson mentioned how one of her daughters warned her against the tattoos, but she chose to go forward with it anyway, having undergone multiple other drastic procedures, including face tattoos and a split tongue. The woman tattooed her right eye in July of 2020 and despite experiencing severe headaches, decided to repeat the procedure on her left eye. It took months for the more serious consequences to appear 
Her eyelids swelled and she reportedly felt as though she'd been repeatedly punched in the face. Peterson was prescribed antibiotics, and when her health continued to deteriorate, she was hospitalized. She even had to be put under general anesthesia in order for doctors to perform a biopsy, although her condition gradually improved over time. She hadn't fully recovered her vision as of the latest updates on the matter. Peterson has been warned by doctors that she may face glaucoma and permanent blindness as a result of the ink applied to her eyeballs. Number 4. Natasha West On November the 13th of 2015, Chicago woman Natasha West was arrested for threatening a waitress during a dispute over pancakes. The 27-year-old had gone out to dinner with a few friends at a local Denny's, where she ordered the $4 all-you-can-eat pancake special. West decided to share the meal with her friends but was told that the deal only allowed for a single diner to eat the pancakes. Enraged, the woman began swearing and threatening the waitress while her friends left the establishment without paying. West eventually threw punches at the server, although she didn't actually make contact, before kicking the door open as she left the scene. The restaurant's manager called 911, giving police a description of the car in which the group had driven away. Shortly thereafter, West and her friends were pulled over and brought back to the restaurant, where they were positively identified by the Denny's employees. West was consequently arrested and charged with assault as well as damage to property. Number 3. Alvis Parrish 54-year-old Alvis Parrish was arrested on December the 7th of 2021 after spiking her boyfriend's drink in order to get him to stop talking. Parrish of Jacksonville, Florida, was charged with poisoning with the intent to kill or injure after admitting to adding an antipsychotic medication used to treat schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and depression to her boyfriend's lemonade. She decided to call 911 after growing concerned about the victim's condition. Responding officers reported that the man was extremely lethargic but wasn't aware that Parrish had added the medication to his drink. As Parrish was being arrested, she told officers that she hadn't planned on killing her boyfriend but that she simply wanted him to shut up. She also indicated that if she hadn't been removed from the premises, she might have ended up harming the man. Her bond was set at $5,000. As of the latest developments, the legal proceedings were still ongoing. Number 2. Shantova Kirkland Shantova Kirkland, aged 32, accidentally killed friends Ian Wilson and Edward Lee on April the 25th of 2021 during a prank that went awry in Augusta, Georgia. The victims, who were 37 and 34, respectively, had joined Kirkland and a group of friends at a birthday party being held near a local lake. Kirkland, who'd rented two pontoon boats, threw Lee into the water along with another woman who was wearing a life vest. Wilson followed closely behind as his friend reportedly didn't know how to swim. Neither man resurfaced, prompting several party goers to jump into the water in an attempt to rescue them, but their well-intentioned efforts ultimately proved unsuccessful. Their bodies wouldn't be recovered until the following week. On June the 21st of 2022, Kirkland pleaded guilty to two counts of involuntary manslaughter and was sentenced to one year in prison plus nine years probation. Number 1. Mary Magdalene American TikTok influencer Mary Magdalene nearly died after undergoing a risky surgery to inflate her genitals in 2018. The 25-year-old internet celebrity who developed a reported addiction to cosmetic procedures spent over $100,000 in total to modify her body. She'd worked as an exotic dancer to pay for the surgeries but was able to quit after her OnlyFans page became a steady source of income. Magdalene uploaded before and after pictures which illustrated the radical change in her physical appearance since she turned 21, including multiple tattoos, brow lifts, fat transfers, nose and breast jobs, as well as lip fillers. The model claimed that she wanted her privates to be the world's fattest and was undeterred by the fact that the surgery almost killed her, although she'd already increased her bra size to 38J. Magdalene expressed her desire to continue enhancing that area of her body with the use of expanders, as well as continuing with various alterations to her body despite the serious risks to her health. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be caught shoplifting or 
have to confront an aggressive shoplifter? Let us know in the comments section below.